Hey everybody, my name is Howard Anderson and I'm here with Ethan, Michael, Jason. And they are from my second period science class and they're going to talk about the wetlands. And I'm here just to help them out. So here we go. Locations of the wetlands in the U.S. The, the wetlands are located in, in the Pacific, Atlantic, and Gulf Coasts. That's exactly right. You can find the wetlands throughout the United States, but you can definitely find it near the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and definitely the Gulf of Mexico. Big Mike. The amount of rain is 59 inches. That's a lot of rain. 59 inches, so you better bring your umbrella. Jason, what do you got for me there, buddy? Uh, there are <clears> many <throat> wetlands that are flooded because of tropical storms. Tropical storms and hurricanes, and a lot of times these wetlands act as a barrier uh, to save the rest of the mainland from the tropical tropical storms, excuse me, and hurricanes. Ethan. Animal facts for the wetlands. Beaver. Beavers are great swimmers and they store fat in their tail. Capybaras. Capybaras go around the groups of 10 to 20 animals and capybaras grow to 134 centimeters long. You know those beavers, they store fat in their tail, unfortunately. I store fat in my belly. My belly, belly, belly. All right, Big Mike, what do we got? Plants that can be found are duckweed, water lilies, and cattails. You going to give those to your girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> don't give your girlfriend a dozen cattails. I don't think she's going to like that. Chase, what do you got for me, buddy? There are many animals in wetlands, such as snakes and crocodiles. And also, there's a whole bunch of crocodiles in fifth grade. It's on your feet. They're called crocs. I thought it was pretty good. Hey, we got to get going. But once again, my name is Howard Anderson with Ethan, Michael, Jason. And just for uh, just so everyone knows, everybody, I'm cooler than Mike. <laughs> hey, let's say goodbye. One, let's say goodbye on three. Ready? One, two, thirty.